Next up, we got NBA Young Boy. Let's get it. So look, bro. NBA Young Boy. Um, I don't know if y'all watch my reactions a lot, a little, or just very, very minimal, like Paquito, but Bro said, like, yeah, I'm about to stop dropping music, yada, 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 yada. And I told y'all, like, that's cap. I do not see this fool drop, like, to stop dropping music no time soon. Only time he, like, stops is when he get locked up to be 100. You know what I'm saying? He got this record right here called I Hate Young Boy. Y'all let me know it was up and it was cracking, which I hate. Young Boy, no, I'm just playing, but, yeah, y'all be letting me know on Instagram, like, you got to get on this, we got to get on this, like, like, bro, eventually, but I've been home all morning, all day, and probably going to be at home all day tomorrow. That's why I'm able to get the reactions out on time. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, let just hope it's dope. See what he talking about. They say it was a diss record. See what's up with the diss record. This NBA young boy. God, I hate you. And now that I kind of think of it, bro, so what? Yeah, I did say it was coming, but so what? But now that I think of it, NBA young boy be contradicting himself in a good way sometime, though. Like a real NBA player. You know how they be like, I'm going to retire this year, then you see him next season, I'm going to retire this year, and they still, like, next season you see him in this. That's NBA young boy. I ain't dropping no more music. And then he ended up dropping more music. If you follow Bro Career or if you've been paying attention to him for the last, like, three or four years, you notice that NBA young boy go back on his words sometimes. He kind of addicted. In a good way, though. You know what I'm saying? The fans get a W. The fans take an L when bro say he ain't making no music. Then they get a W when he come back and make more music. This the NBA young boy right here. Say Where we at, bro? Fuck, man, look. I ain't gonna... Well, NBA young boy records, there's some beef that's come on. You gonna, oh, bro finna go in on this shit. And then you gonna hear something like, get my heart up in the bottle. What'd he say? Ballin' like a baller block. Or that, that Renata, that shit. So, no, Nevada. It's one of my favorite songs about this nigga. Hey. Y'all boy, they gonna kill you. You better stop dissing them. Tell them niggas, fuck them, man. They ain't know that I ain't scared of them. How you talking shit when they ain't die about your cousin? Now, don't got no filter. He say that they gon' fuck with him. Clean up on I.O. Yeah. This nigga, young boy, don't give a fucking young boy. is like a few rappers. It's a lot of niggas that I look at or that I hear, and they be like, I don't care about dying. If it's my time, it's my time. I'm a thug until I'm in the casket. Why like, this old weenie ass nigga, bro? You ain't. But it's some people I actually believe in. Young boy is like Tupac. I'm not comparing him to Tupac at all. I'm just saying on what he was saying some of his records to where he speak on death and he don't give a fuck about it. That nigga know niggas want to kill him. He'll still come at your neck. He know niggas want to kill him. He's still coming in your city. That's how bro be getting down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not actually pulling up to your block, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about how we look. It ain't no fly zone. You can't come here. Next thing you know, this thing doing a show in your city type shit. I honestly, like, I honestly think you know, Contrell don't care about dying. I don't. Let that chop blow. Brother, let that stick go. Nigga, no, that's my smoke. He got me a bitch that's Indio. That be yo ho. Post it with that stick like Indians. They want my soul. Post about it. Bitch, I got like. There we go again. I got like 30 mil. I'm going to be rich until my casket took me. See what I mean? They be like, nigga, I don't believe in it. I'm my own man. I don't believe in a lot of cliche and a lot of sense that the, that the world got to where you got to speak it into existence. If you keep on saying it's going to happen. A lot of y'all saying this nigga can NBA, this nigga can die at 89 years old right now, right? Well, not right now. I'm talking about only turn 89. And then niggas that listen to this song be like, well, he spoke it to the existence. Motherfucker, that was old age. You get what I'm saying? That, I don't believe in it, bro, but he speak on that shit a lot. With some group is why my phone. Why you drop that wack ass song? Pussy bitch, you should have known. My daddy said me leave it alone. But I'm like, man, fuck them niggas. Used to fuck with Gucci till I seen he like them pussy niggas. Mama and all the roof is talking stupid, make me. Nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, look, Gucci man heard this like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh God, bro, you da look, bro. But yeah, Gucci man, he a businessman. You know what I'm saying? He got some killer that's under his label, and, and under his label, y'all remember when I was? Well, we ain't gonna go back on that, but under his label, he got some niggas that fuck with niggas NBA. Young boy don't fuck. Let's be 100. You know what I'm saying? It look like he trying to cut all ties. He don't want no middleman to nothing. He doing this how niggas was gang banging in the 80s. That 2000 shit, that 2010 shit, to where. Um, oh, you fuck with my enemy? Well, I'll still fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing to do with it. The personal relationship type shit. Now NBA young boy looking at it like, bro, if you a friend of my enemy, then you my enemy now. Fuck it. Nigga coming off raw, that nigga came out of jail tripping. What that nigga eat? <laughs> He came out of jail, tripping, tripping. Bust a nigga, they know I'm on house arrest, so they feel like they are fish. I kill you, then I take your whistle. God know I don't like you niggas, fizz wanna lie. They know I'm on house arrest, so they feel like they official. I said that in the last year, like NBA young boy get locked up. That's when these niggas think they can start popping. But at the same time, my nigga, we can also argue the only reason NBA young boy popping because he on also uh, he on uh, house arrest and niggas can't do nothing. Bro can't go outside and whoop whoop whoop. So a lot of niggas can, they can argue that one too. Like bro, you you popping it because you don't have, like nigga. And yeah, Ghost Gang on top. Nigga up cause he called baby me. Bitch don't bite my baby mama up. She richer than your nigga. Every nigga did a feature with your slime out to get him. Set him up then punt a nigga. Feel go. Run mode. Nah, I keep that nigga. Every nigga did it feature. What'd he say? Every nigga he did a feature with just slime him all together. Which makes me think, bro. Gucci fuck with the fuck niggas, so I'll mess with them. If every nigga you do a feature, we'll be slime them all together. We all know NBA young boy fuck with the baby heavy. Heavy. And we all know NBA, uh, the baby fuck with a lot of niggas. NBA young boy don't fuck with heavy. I wonder why bro, bro give him a pass. Probably some, some shit we don't know about. Some, some, you know what I'm saying? The nigga probably, it's some shit we don't know about. But he liked the baby and the baby also fuck with his enemies. And I mean heavy. You know what I'm saying? Damn. 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 Damn.
And I promise you, when they take that job, they could we swear to tell the whole truth and nothing true. But, but however that go up in court, they will tell on you, bro. Yes, they riding you around. You see your enemies, bro. You're not going to wait for your enemies to get off on you. You're going to get off on them. But let you got your security in the car and you get off on them first. Then the whole shootout happened somebody died. Your security is going to say, well, my client, the guy that hired me, however the fuck that shit go, he starts shooting out the car first and that's what started the whole thing. If that's the homie driving you, bro, man, they start shooting first. You get what I'm saying? Shit ain't got a job to do. He want to go home to his kids. He got bills to pay. And don't knock him. That's just like me working at fucking Walmart and a nigga try to steal two TVs, five Xboxes, a bike, and some Skittles. My nigga, I am not stopping you. I'm at work. I don't even fuck about that shit. It's B100. Same with the security, nigga. Y'all be up there. Security, pray that they can go to work and come home without a shootout, let alone a rapper. You think they finna put their life on the line for your motherfucking nigga? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Hip-hop is getting finna get real dangerous right now. You know what I'm saying? And to keep it 100, every nigga that NBA young boy is dissing, all them niggas come with 40, 40 niggas with them. NBA young boy is, he been, <laughs> look, before this record, niggas being not liking him. He been a Grim Reaper of hip-hop. He been blackballed and all that type of shit, right? But now, this nigga is officially the most hated rapper in hip-hop. And I ain't even talking about the fans. I'm talking about by other rappers. <laughs> I'm talking about other rappers, bro. Niggas ain't fucking with this. And when you got somebody like Lil Durk that's popping, Gucci Man that's popping, Pooh Sicey that's popping, Lil Baby that's popping, when you got all these people that's popping, bro, other artists gonna want records with them. They gonna wanna be popping too. With that being said, in order for them to get them records with them Lil Baby type niggas, they got to not fuck with young boy because little baby ain't going to fuck with them. Unless he a nigga like me and don't hop in uh, personal beefs. Other than that, nigga, that's... Everybody like the music industry is divided. It's not divided. This is one nigga that's going at everybody. It's not divided. Everybody y'all still fuck with everybody. You still got a couple niggas that's enemies, but y'all up here, oh, uh, NBA young boy divided the music. Nah, this is one motherfucker going at everybody. Me versus everybody head ass nigga, right? Daughter from that time I'm out. Boom, boom. Hit that blicky sound, that's the daughter tone. Feel like boots don't even like me, bitch. Don't call my phone. Uh, tell F I said fuck them, they promote it. <laughs> NBA young boy right now snapping and he tripping, bro. I ain't never see Lil Boosie come out and say he don't like this nigga or none of that type shit. And they ain't even got on the phone, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? To discuss this situation. It'd be a young boy. He said, bro, I feel, I feel like Boosie don't like me. Bitch, don't call my phone. If you feel like it, that means you don't know for sure. This nigga probably love your music, bro. Now he just started beef with another nigga that's from your section. Damn. You know, Boosie, these niggas looking at this nigga like, bro, yo. After a while, bro gonna keep on nutting up. And the, the, <laughs> the rap niggas probably gonna be like, man, I ain't even paying no attention to that shit no more. But still be reading all the comments, you know what I'm saying? They be hating on Timmy Quando, they act like they wrong. You two streamers, they be dick right, no react no more. You fuck with them no Whoa, 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 run that back. It sounds that's the daughter tone. And this why this nigga be getting blackballed. Tell Apple I said fuck them, they promote the song. They take the nigga off Apple Music, the label don't want to give him no money. You <laughs> And then he said what? YouTube streamers they Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what you said about the YouTube niggas. They be hating on Timmy Quando, they act like they wrong. They be hating on Tim McQuando, they act like they wrong. 
spoke on that situation too. Get over to the DJ Ghost podcast link in the description. Yeah. YouTube streamers, they be dick riding, don't react no more. <laughs> YouTube streamers, they be dick riding, don't react no more. Listen to all you YouTube niggas out there, do not jump the gun. You hear me? Listen to your boy. Listen to your boy. Do not jump the gun. With this record right here, NBA Youngboy. He just named a lot of niggas he don't like that have no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? With the YouTube reactor shit, bro didn't even put no name on that. With that being said, NBA young boy, listen to me. I'm gonna say it one more time, do not jump the gun. The reason why I'm telling y'all not to jump the gun, cause he didn't put no name on it. But at the same time, I fuck with three. I talk with three. Uh, 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 two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when NBA Youngboy music came out, we were supposed to get on stream, listen to the music, and I was supposed to interview him. I know he not talking about me. To you other YouTubers, it wasn't directed. Don't jump the gun with that being said. We know NBA Youngboy got into it with like two YouTubers and two streamers. Bro was most likely talking about them. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of YouTubers that do be dick riding. They scared to say what's trash and what's not. Or, bro, you tripping on this? Or, I'm not fucking with this? I'ma let y'all know. I'ma know i am going to let them know. I'ma let it know like it is. Nigga, I'm not fucking with this. Like I did three minutes ago. To you other YouTubers, don't jump the gun, bro. It's a saying back in the day. If it ain't directed, then they respect it. With that being said, with that being said, that little YouTube comment, it wasn't serious enough for him to put a fucking name on it. Cause nine times out of 10, not even nine times, 10 times out of 10, he more popping than the nigga he talking about. And he didn't want to give him no clout. The reason why he named these other rappers, cause it make fucking sense. He going at top tier rappers, people that's in his field. Again, to your YouTubers, do not jump the gun, bro. Listen to your boy. You fuck with them, don't fuck with me, and that's just how they go. When I release a spill drop, they be pure dope. Chinese kitty don't wanna be my girl, she like them folks. Mama told me, fella, take my real You fuck with me, don't fuck with them, that's just how it go. NBA Young Boy. Another thing about the YouTube shit. If I'm not mistaken, now that I think about it, bro posted probably like eight, nine months ago, a year ago, to where he was like, all oh, you YouTubers, I be watching y'all little reactions. I fuck with it. And then he came back again and said, I'm gonna let any uh I'm gonna let a YouTube reactor go ahead and interview me. There I go again from what I said in the beginning. Bro contradicts himself a little bit. I be catching that since look, I follow bro career for a minute. And I be catching some of the shit he say and he go back on his word. Fuck the YouTube, y'all react, don't react no more. But before you say you watch him and you want a YouTube reactor to do your interview, that's how I know he not talking about the whole platform. It's a specific nigga he talking about. He just didn't want to get that nigga no clout. That's what I'm, it's my opinion. He probably not, just my opinion. And I said no. Sad Snyder, I always think I'm tripping because I'm real slow. Uh, I ain't re I ain't, I ain't even rapping, Jason. I, I, I'm really just, I'm really just letting these niggas know I fuck them. Yeah, these bitches in there like they scared to die. Young boys been begging, I've been sliding, I ain't scared to die. I don't fuck with CC. But my said they act like they scared to die. Nigga, everybody ain't you. A lot of motherfuckers want to be here. Niggas got kids and dreams and shit to live for. But yeah, you want to be scared to die. <laughs> It's certain situations, like it's for your kids, you know what I'm saying? You dying for your kids, no question, but my nigga, for music, four, 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 you like, fuck, I hope I don't get smoked when I run up in here and sock this nigga out. Like, you gonna hope you don't, you won't be up in here like, yeah, I'm finna die tonight, you know what I'm saying? This my funeral gonna be lit. We not fucking with that. That, hell yeah, niggas are scared. My oldest brother Crip, I be on DC, DC Marvel, that be him. I be on repeat, waiting on them just for the truck. Fuck the whole industry, they know don't try to get at him. Bro. Yeah, it's like a train outside that. Bro. That's the end of this reaction. No, I'm going to get at y'all when I get at y'all. Till next time, rest in peace, King Nipsey, DJ Ghost, 100.